learning now we are about to start unit number 12 flight first of all we do some brainstorming from the previous lessons then reading book page number 93 and 94 do some notebook work then recap of the lesson and then quiz so let's get started students are you ready okay so how many types of teeth? Name them. Here, I'm asking for three only. Actually, there are four types of teeth. That is incisors, canines, and molars. And before molars, we have premolars. Unit number two, growth and movement in living things. Hmm. Name five things that living things can do. Living things can eat food, they can breathe, they can get rid of waste materials, they can feel and they are able to move and grow. Now we are start reading, okay? Light. Can you imagine what the world would be like without light? There would be no colors, no plants, and no animals on earth. The sun gives heat and light to the earth. We can see objects because they scatter light in our eyes. A burning candle and a bulb give out light. Light is a form of energy. Light helps us to do things. Light from the sun helps plants to make food. A solar calculator works by sunlight. Light travels very fast. Light travels 300,000 kilometers in one second. It travels faster than sound. We know this because during a thun thunderstorm, we see the flash of lightning before we hear the clap of thunder. Light can travel through space. If light could not travel through space, we would not able to see the light from the sun and the stars. Light travels in straight lines. If you look at a candle flame through a drinking straw, you can see the flame. If you bent the straw, you will not able to see the flame. Light can only travel in straight lines. This is why it is impossible to see round corners. The straight path of light is called a ray. A ray shows the path of the light. Many rays of light make up a beam of light. A very narrow beam of light of one color is called a laser beam. A laser beam gives, gives out heat. It is used by doctors to seal broken blood vessels and skin. Reflection of light. When a ray of light falls on a smooth surface such as a flat mirror, it bounces back in the opposite direction. The bouncing back of light is called the reflection of light. When light rays falls on a rough surface such as a wooden table, you are, they are scattered in all directions. When a ray of light strikes a flat shiny surface, it is reflected at the same angle, but in the opposite direction. When light rays from an object strike a plane mirror, all the rays are reflected from it at the same angle. That will be all for today from the reading session. Now, some notebook work from unit number 12, slide. Answer the following. You have to do this work in notebook. 
first question explain how we see objects yes we can see objects when they reflect the light that falls on them what would be the world be like without light hmm the there would be no colors in plants or animals on earth how fast does light travel the speed of light is 300000 kilometers in 1 second hmm how do we know that light can travel through space yes we know that light can travel through space because we are able to see the light from the sun and the stars that's why we know that light can travel through space so students now it's a recap time okay so what we read today that we can see objects when they reflect the light that falls on them there would be no colors in plants or animals on earth the speed of light is 300000 kilometers in 1 second we know that light can travel through space because we are able to see the light from the sun and the stars bouncing back of light is called reflection of light so that will be all for today students now it's a quiz time students tell me light travels dash kilometer in 1 second Just now we read about it. Hmm, that is three hundred thousand kilometer in one second. So students, now it's time to say, "Allah is everyone." Have a very nice and blessed day, students. Thank you, everyone.